morning, Vietnam. We are docked in Ho Chi Minh City, although that is about an hour and something away. So we're not really docked in Ho Chi Minh City, we're docked in this port. And we're going to get on a free bus that goes to a market town about 40 minutes away. Because all the excursions, excursions to Ho Chi Minh City are really expensive. It's already really hot here even though it's half nine, but that has not stopped me from having a cup of tea. Look at all those little people getting off the ship. There is not much to see in this port really. Vietnam is a bit of a strange one. You need this landing card when you get off. You need your cruise card and you need some photo ID. They took our passports away from us when we got on the ship because of the immigration in all the different countries. It's a bit different and more strict around this part of the world really. So I'm not sure if they'll give us our passports back and we can use those or we can use a photocopy or we can use a driving license I suppose but we'll work that out when we get down there. We're on a bus, on a bus, not really sure to where. We are in Vietnam and we're taking about a 40 minute drive I suppose. I don't really want to film a car crash but some of these cars are a little bit crazy. Considering how many scooters there are it's a bit a bit scary and half of them don't even have full trousers on they've got shorts on. I didn't think I picked the worst seat on the coach because it's so sunny. I think I got a sweaty elbow but it's a good place to have a car journey. There's a lot of interesting things to see, a lot of near car crashes happening, scooters, shops selling weird things. It's very green actually for somewhere so hot but I suppose they have a lot of rain to go with the heat. So they pretty much bring you to this thing where everyone tries to sell you t-shirts and souvenirs and things. We have no money and I have no need for any of these things anyway. That one has a red green man thing so we might be able to cross without dying. <laughs> Come up Mart. Anyway we are just leaving now. We have said no to sunglasses and taxis and souvenirs a thousand times. They really don't want to take no for an answer but I'm glad we've seen this place but we'll probably not come back here again. We just didn't go to Ho Chi Minh City because it's really expensive. Even excursion to just transport by yourself is about $80 each and there's four of us so that's a lot of money. But they obviously just drop you here because they want to sell you things and everyone seems really really nice but I don't want to buy anything. I don't have any Vietnamese money, whatever that is. As soon as you get off that coach, do you want any sunglasses? Do you want a wallet? Do you want a taxi? Do you want this? Do you want that? Woman saying no, so they just show her another one. See how this man handles it. That was quite pain free actually. He did well. Proud of him. That must be a horrible job trying to sell sunglasses. Must be so hot. Look at that. What they're wearing. Jeans. Too hot to wear jeans. A lot of places to get a statue made, isn't there? Might get that one for my house. To the ship now for a well deserved Diet Coke. The Golden Princess there looking absolutely gorgeous. Look how quiet it is. There is pretty much no one here. True, we are in a port, but still, there's no struggle to get sunburned. Loads. No one here either. It's so quiet. This is the inside pool, which we haven't tried out yet, so we're going to try that one now. Action. Welcome to my cabin floor. I'm using the table as a tripod because I didn't want to bring a tripod. You know how light I pack. I bought a cabin bag only for this 16, 17 night holiday. So there's no room for a tripod in there. 
Anyway, we spent the afternoon at the swimming pools and lounging around in the heat. It's 37 degrees here today, which is about 99 Fahrenheit, which is really, really hot. I'm not used to 37 degree weather. I don't think it's ever got to 37 in England. Maybe once, but we're not used to that heat at all. I'm still drinking tea. I'm not going to stop. Not sure if I should be warming myself from the inside as well as the outside, but it's too late to stop now anyway. So the pools are really quiet. We tried out the inside pool today because we haven't been there yet. There was no one in there, just us. And I tried the hot tub, even though it's hot. That's probably why I'm so hot. Tea on the inside, hot tub on the outside. I'm really not helping myself here, but I had a really good time. It was really nice. I've drunk so many, so many Diet Cokes. It's really easy to get a drink at the bar here, actually. On some other cruise lines, I've been stood there for ages, flicking my cards, like, come on, please, I really need a drink. But here, they're straight away there, and there's, it seems like maybe other cruise lines have cut down on staff, but Princess haven't. There's loads of staff waiting around. They're only too happy to help you. It's almost like they want something to do. There's sometimes a couple of people at the bar just chatting, so it's not difficult at all to get a drink. And they're all really nice. They've all asked us how our day was and if we liked this and told us things about tomorrow. So that's really good. That is important to me when it's hot, how fast I can get a drink. And pretty fast. And I've been trying all these different mocktails. They're all really nice. I think we're going to take it easy this afternoon and not go to the sit down dinner. I think we're going to try afternoon tea. Because I love afternoon tea. We had it on board Cunard, and that is the level of afternoon tea. Cunard. I'm not sure if I can compare Princess to Cunard's afternoon tea, but I will try. So I guess I will see you there. Cakes and sandwiches and tea. <laughs> we are going to try the trivia again. We did badly last time, but we have an Australian friend this time, so that might help. Most of the questions are kind of American-y though, so we need an American. We're being tugged away from Fumi. Burgers for dinner. I wonder how my veggie burger will be. I don't know if that's it over there. Got myself a veggie burger and it does look like vegetables. I didn't mean to put that much ketchup on it, but oh well. Oops, I always make a mess. We're at the theatre again to see some cabaret singer or something. Our usual waiter man has gone to get us our drinks and he remembers what we like. Very nice, I think he's my favourite on here at the moment. Always very smiley. They're all very smiley, aren't they? Look at them all just hanging around, waiting to get you a drink. Yum, again. Dad's got pina colada yum. Let's share it. Abba quiz. come back to the cabin to put on some jeans which seems really strange when it's so hot but around the ship is actually pretty cold we've just done ABBA trivia and we did better than we did on the normal trivia which is kind of weird because I wasn't alive at the time of ABBA but I do like a little bit of ABBA ABBA always reminds me of my friend Scott if you haven't followed Scott on YouTube Scott Singer Cruises you should I'll put his link in the description he is my vlogging idol he's fantastic he does loads of vlogs around Alaska and places like that so check him out I'll put his link in the description and now I'm gonna go to a 70s disco because we didn't make it to the one yesterday so I will talk to you later I thought I would get lost and not be able to find my way to the 70s disco but I can hear it from up here so I think I'm in the right place Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you've liked it. If you have, please consider subscribing. I've got loads more of these vlogs coming up. The next one will be in Natrang, which was our second day in Vietnam. And then we went on to Hong Kong and up to Japan. So please subscribe. Loads of interesting things to show you.